Hey homegirls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tamia and I make college, beauty, and lifestyle content. You might as well subscribe because you're going to love your girl. I'm so happy to be back, y'all. Um, I didn't vlog all summer, which I know was very fake of me, but y'all, I just really wanted to take the summer to reset. And then when I go home for the summer, y'all, I do a lot of spontaneous stuff. Like, I'll just get up and go out. So, as far as taking my camera with me, that's not always, like, a prior thought. So, I'm sorry about that. But we're back in school. It's a new semester. It's junior year. So, you already know the videos are coming. It's going to be consistent and we're outside, period. But we also in them books. So, I'm about to get dressed. Um, it's actually not the first day of classes. It is my third day of classes, but my second day is my Monday classes. If that, I mean, my Wednesday classes, if that makes sense. The school started on Wednesday. Today is Friday. But my movie in day was very hectic. Not hectic as in, like, it wasn't, like, bad. Like, nothing went wrong. But as far as chaotic, I had a lot of stuff to do. And then my camera charger, I couldn't find it in the midst of moving. I have a bunch of stuff that's still unpacked. I mean, still not packed. Wait. I have a bunch of stuff that's still... I have a bunch of stuff that's still packed up so I had a hard time like finding little things that I needed other than like the outfits that I packed um so I went ahead and had to order another camera charger and it didn't come until yesterday so now that the camera is fully charged we back in that action I'm about to um, record my whole day today a few days of school the weekend as well since tomorrow's the weekend and I'm going to just go with the flow, but I wanted to come on here and check in with y'all, tell y'all I'm so happy to be back. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on the video already. And other than that, I'm going to talk to y'all once I'm dressed. Okay, homegirls, I'm fully dressed. I didn't get a chance to straighten my hair the way I wanted to. If the camera is gone, hit and clear up. But I didn't get a chance to straighten my hair the way I want to, so I'm going to go ahead and do that after um, I get back from class. I have two classes today, criminology, and then after that, I have to go to intermediate Spanish. And then other than that, I think I'm done for the day after that. So I'm going to come back here and take my pictures later. Um, oh, I'm red now, and I have braces now. Do I look different? I think it's given. But um, I'm going to show y'all the outfit check and everything. I really need to go though. So I'm going to talk to y'all once I can um, show y'all the outfit check. Hey homegirl, so y'all know I was rushing earlier, like I said, but I was able to come back and change my jewelry. I wanted to switch out to the gold, and then I was able to flat iron my hair. Um, me and Maria both left our flat irons at home. Like, crazy. This is insane, but, oh, Maria's here. Say hey to Junior Maria. Y'all didn't see Junior Maria yet, but, um, what was I saying? We're about to take my pictures. I'm taking them over here in, like, this little courtyard area. I'm hoping they turn out really, well, they gonna turn out cute. They gonna be, yeah, they gonna be. Um, oh, let me show y'all. Kind of show oh, the yeah, way I got on a little bit. Yeah. Are you in this it? shirt? I yeah, I'm in it. Okay. This is my shorts. I got on my John Cena shorts. These are so and cute. These shoes. Oh, in the bag. bag. This is my school bag. But, but this bag just gives. I didn't take fun. pictures in it. So, and yeah. if y'all didn't know, me and Maria both sponsored. Not mm -hmm. sponsored. We're ambassadors for Pretty Little Thing. So shout out to us. But yeah, that's all I want to show y'all. Um. I'm going to show y'all me taking the pictures, of course, well, and then I'll show y'all. Let's hope my camera act right. And don't let's hope my camera act right. Y'all know the camera falls every time we take pictures. It never fails. But, okay. It's hold on. Right, oh, and I'm on a FaceTime with my two messy sisters. I turned them down because they'll get canceled. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> but I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Who, Shannon? Um, we is blowing us Okay, so we done taking the pictures. Um, the wind was blowing like crazy out there, so I wasn't finna risk my camera doing the backflip triple double. So I just went ahead and show y'all the pictures afterwards. So look at my pictures, y'all. Hold on. Can y'all even see it? Y'all gonna see on Instagram because y'all should be following me on Instagram, which is in one of the corners. So go ahead and do that. But these how the pictures turned out. Cute, cute, cute. 
I was really gonna wear this outfit yesterday, but I ended up having work yesterday. So let me go on and catch y'all up. So those who um, are not new to the channel already know that I'm looking into being an educator right now. I also wanna be an attorney, but um, so what I did was I got a job, like basically working with these kids after school and stuff like that. So that's what I do. Um, so that's what I went ahead and did yesterday, which was my first day and it went pretty well. Um, and then I didn't vlog for the first day of classes, but I wanted to catch y'all up on that. The first day of classes went good. Um, it was chaotic, like I mentioned earlier, but it went well. My mom and my dad and my sister came down here, my little sister, um, and they stayed until yesterday. They left yesterday morning and I stayed with them at the hotel until the end. So I really wouldn't have, I'm kind of glad I didn't vlog because I was in the hotel and I didn't, like, I really didn't have my stuff to really set up and, um. I definitely didn't have a camera charger so that's really why but other than that um you know when you in the hotel you be chilling you don't be trying to really be organized like that well i don't but <laughs> anyway um my first day of classes went good um everything was smooth as far as my classes the actual class that was smooth and good um and then okay let me tell y'all what classes i actually take so right now i'm taking five classes um, I originally w w thought about doing six classes, but I decided since I am taking Spanish, which is a little tedious for me, I went ahead and just did the five classes. Um, so I'm taking African Centered Psychology, which is an asynchronous class, meaning um, an asynchronous class basically means like you don't have to show up in person, you don't have to show up on Zoom, all you have to do is do the work when it's due, and you'll be able to see when the work is due in Canvas, um, which is the app you use to see all your classes. I be forgetting like y'all not in college and I'm supposed to be telling y'all, well, some of y'all not in college. But, um, and then I have criminology three days a week. Um, me wanting to go into law, of course, that's why I chose that. And then histories and systems of psychology because it's one of the required courses for me to take for my minor, which is psychology. And then human sexuality is actually taught by Dr. Bass. If you're familiar with my videos, you may know Dr. Bass or you may have um, just heard of him, me mentioning him, but he teaches that class and it's also a class that I need to take for my minor, which is psychology and the intermediate Spanish. Um, I'm in Spanish 201 because I was in 102 the semester before last. Um, and then it's required for me to take two um, language classes in my major, which is sociology. So those are my classes for the year. Today, um, like I mentioned earlier, I just went to criminology and then I had Spanish after that. My Spanish classes are virtual next week. I'm going to vlog for a couple days next week, maybe up until like Wednesday. I'm not sure exactly, but I do want to make sure I'm including a decent amount of school content because although we we are going to go out this weekend and do you know some fun stuff, I want to make sure that I'm primarily including the academics in this video because that's what I want this video to kind of consist of. But yeah, so... It's um pretty seem like a pretty light semester. I don't think any of my classes are gonna be too crazy. You know how once you go into class for a day or two, you can kind of just already tell the vibe or like how the workload is gonna be. And none of my classes really gave that it's gonna stress me out for real. So that was a pro to that. Um, yeah, it don't seem like it's pretty stressful at all. And the one class that I thought probably was gonna be crazy, I went ahead and took that off my schedule um, because it. School ain't even started and it was an asynchronous class as well. He ain't say what the book is or nothing, but you want to give us work and saying do 40 sentences. Oh, excuse me. On the first day, I'm like, uh-uh, this ain't going to work for me. So I gone and got myself up out of that. But um, other than that, I'm just chilling out for the rest of the day. I'm so glad that I get to chill. I can kind of unpack a little more. Um, I'm going to unpack tonight. But I mainly probably will just dedicate my weekend to packing. I mean, unpacking because i know it'll probably not it wouldn't take me a while i know if i lock in tonight i really could get it done my phone just got off the charger but i know if i lock in tonight i can um get it done but it's just do i feel like locking in tonight i don't know kind of just want to chill out but i'll probably try to get that done for sure before well not probably i'm going to get that done before the weekend is over and then i have like a couple things i need my parents to go ahead and order so that next week is like no, everything is unpacked. I'm finally settled in. You know, I got my um, things that I need and everything will be smooth. So that's my um, focus right now. And then I just have one assignment to do today for my intermediate Spanish class. I was just telling Maria about it. 
it is um introductions but she wants us to say it in spanish so we have to introduce ourselves say our name our major where we're from um if you don't know your major in spanish find it of course and then i'm trying to read the instructions please also consider sharing some personal information about you your family hobbies I mean, your hobbies, your family, interests, stuff like that. So, I'll probably say, like, two sentences in that because I'm not that fluent in Spanish. Let's actually see. Maria's gonna laugh. Like, I just know you are. Right, leave me alone. Okay, this is how I'm gonna say it. I need to learn how to say, um, my... Because she said something about your family, so I'll probably say, like, oh, I have two sisters and two brothers. I know how to say sisters or brothers. It's hermanas, hermanas and hermanos. Right. But I have to put that in the sentence. But that's probably what I'll say. And then when they said my interests, I'm going to say I like social media related stuff. And I'm going to say makeup. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to say. But um, my, it's like I know Spanish words. And that's why I'm in Spanish 201. Because it's like 101 is the beginner. Then 102 is the next step up. And then 201, which I'm in now. Now, when you get here, if you have, if you're required to take a language class, which will probably be people who are like Spanish majors, Spanish minors, or like myself who are in the arts department, sociology is considered like a liberal art, so it's required for me. Um, of course, y'all will be able to tell if it's required for you or not, but it's just required for me. Um, but anyway, when you get here, they're going to make you take that place, placement test to see what class you're going to be in. And I tested into 102, which irritated me because it's like, damn, I wish I would have tested into 101 because it would have been easier. But once since I got in 102 already, the next step up is 201, which is a little more difficult. But just in a sense that I know she expects us to be f not fluent, but pretty good at like speaking in Spanish. Like in the class, she only talks to us in Spanish. So it's like. I don't know. I'm pretty good at like doing the work and maybe like hearing, identifying certain words with like me speaking myself. Like I'm a girl from Chicago. I don't talk like that. Like I be trying to do the accents when people be in class doing it. I be trying, but then I'm like, gee, this not working. <laughs> like it don't give. It sound goofy, but <laughs> it be sounding so goofy. <laughs> but it's okay. I just need to practice a little more. That's what I told myself. I'm gonna just start practicing, or maybe just like watching. I heard that if you watch a, like a Spanish show or no, movie, uh -huh, or like you read a Spanish book, or even um, what they say, like Spanish music. That's what I was gonna say. Music that's in Spanish, they just say it just get easier for you to kind of catch on to what they're saying and kind of hear how it's pronounced. So that's what um, I'm gonna do for right now. I'm gonna get that assignment done because it's due at 11:59, and then other than that. I'm gonna be chilling out. I'll check in with y'all if something else pops up or if I feel like it's um, checking worthy. But other than that, I'm gonna just sit here and get that done. Okay, y'all. Your girl didn't finish the video. Y'all wanna see? <laughs> you cover your ears, little yeah. girl. <laughs> you don't need to listen. You can listen. I don't care. Hola, clase. Mi nombre es Tania Alvin. Buen day, Chicago, Illinois. Bro, yo estudio en social work en la universidad. Tengo dos hermanos. <laughs> did I eat or did I like chew a little? Oh, I did. <laughs> bilingual queen. If you're not bilingual, <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> I want to check in because I know I didn't check in since earlier. I had um, finished that assignment, which I showed y'all, and then I went ahead and took a nap after that. Um, right now, I'm sitting here eating my salad I just made. It's currently 11.36, y'all. And I'm sitting here eating my salad. I didn't wake up till like 8.30, so and then I've been unpacking ever since. I'm sitting here watching our nail, our mind. If y'all don't know our nail, our mind, are you really into YouTube for real? But um, I'm sitting here watching um, one of her videos, sitting here eating my salad, drinking my water, minding my business. But let me show y'all this room, y'all. I started unpacking, baby. This is gonna be all night. This is just a little peek at it. But see, I got a lot done though, so let's be real. Look at that closet, I got a decent amount done. I told myself I'm gonna go ahead and organize it tomorrow, not organize it, but make it perfect tomorrow. 
But my goal right now is to take everything out of the bags and boxes or whatever and put it where it goes. Other than that, I can be like, oh, let me neaten this up later. But, you know, and then I put my covers in the wash because I don't know. I just feel like they need to be washed. I'll turn that off for now because I'm going to be sitting out here. So I'll finish eating, but I want to check in and say that because I know once I finish eating this, I'm going to finish cleaning up as much as I can so that I can at least... Not not as much as I can. I'm going to unpack everything and get everything going to where it needs to be. And then I'm going to uh, go to bed whatever time I end up finishing. Because I'll probably be done eating at like 12. Um, so it'll probably be a little minute that I'm up. But that's fine because I took a nap. And then tomorrow's Saturday. I don't have to get up early or anything like that. So I'm not really tripping if I stay up uh, pretty late. Because I do that anyway. But... Yeah, I'm just sitting here chilling out and I'm gonna talk to y'all in the morning. I don't know why I kind of got a headache. Maybe it's because I hadn't ate, so I'm eating now. Um, I'll talk to y'all um, first thing in the morning. Good morning, homegirls. I'm up. Um, I was able to unpack a lot of stuff in my room last night, so it's pretty good in there, pretty clean. I'm out here sitting on the balcony, just getting some, um, is it called a balcony or a patio? Doesn't matter. But I'm sitting out here um, on the balcony. It's currently 11.58, so like noon. Um, and I'm just getting some fresh air. I love a slow morning, so I'm just up getting some fresh air. I'm about to read this book. Um, sorry if y'all can hear the traffic, but I actually like that sound. But um, it ends with us by Colleen Hoover. If you want like book talk, you've probably seen this already. Because um, a lot of people be talking about it, especially uh, Colleen Hoover books in general. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name, but yeah they be talking about a lot of her books so i'm like let me get into them let me get on my zoom that's what i'm doing i'm about to start it hopefully i can get like a chapter or two done before breakfast because i'm gonna go in there and make me something to eat i think i want like pancakes and bacon so that's what i'm gonna make me so i want a nice good breakfast since it is the weekend because during the school days maybe i already get up at 7 7 38 i don't have time to make no breakfast so i usually just like grab something quick but on weekends, I want to take the time to actually make myself something. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'll let y'all know what a day takes me. But um, I, since I am in the Progressive Collegiate of Black Leaders, which is a new organization on campus, um, I am the Social Media Marketer Chair of it. So we're having an event today, which is a car watch. It's a community service group, but it's also like mental health focused and a lot of other things. But Today is a community service event. It's going to be a car wash where we like raise funds and stuff like that and raise um, hygiene products for people. So I'm going to go to that a little later. It's from 9. Is it from, it's from 10 to 5, I believe, and it's currently 12. So I'm going to go a little later around maybe like 2 or 3, probably like 3, 3 or 4-ish. Um, so I'm going to get ready to go to that later. And then Gio comes back this morning. He's probably already here unpacking his stuff and stuff like that because he had a delayed move in. But since he's here already, we're going to go out tonight. You know, we got to celebrate. The girls going to get together, okay? Ooh, I'm going to drop my phone. But, yeah, we're going to get together. So, we'll we'll get ready for that a little later. But that's really what my Saturday is going to consist of. A little community service, a little outside, a little chilling, a little bit of everything, okay? So, that's what I'm going to do for today. I just wanted to let y'all know the plan. Sorry if I keep looking off. I'm just, you know, when you're outside, there's too much going on. You're looking around. But, yeah, I want to check in with y'all and say that this morning, today is going to be a pretty, like, busy day, but chill day at the same time. So, not going to be busy until a little later on. And I just want to check in and tell y'all that. So I just finished eating breakfast um, like a couple minutes ago, maybe like 30 minutes ago. I was just chilling out and stuff like that, was on the phone and stuff. But now I'm finna get ready to go. I already just threw on this hoodie 
and some jogging pants because it's community service so I'm not gonna like wear a crazy fit or something like that just to um, wash cars we're gonna probably be around water and soap obviously so I just want to wear something that I wouldn't mind getting a little water or something on brushing through my hair I'm gonna pin it back into a bun we'll do a claw clip but I'm gonna just do a bun for now because I don't feel like flat in my hair. Plus, we're going out later. This is a bra, so it's okay. But plus, we're going out later, so I know when I come back, I'm going to have to do my hair. So, I would prefer to just have it pinned back like that. And then, stack my shade on the lashes. They look a little different now because I didn't have them for days and slept on them and washed them a couple times. But, must have stood in my lashes. And then I'm not gonna do much to my face, just a little lip gloss and I think some brow gel. Cause like I said, when I come back later and I have to actually address and do a little makeup and a little bit of this and that, I'm not gonna do some makeup now and later. So that I have to do for now. Going under that swoop be crazy, but I have to get it a little bit. Cause it's like it just mess it right back up. Okay, that should be good for now. I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the drawer. I'm gonna actually take that little gloss with me. In the purse. I think I'm gonna just do little glasses. The lighting is crazy in here. That's the fan. But yeah. So then I'm gonna just put these glasses on and I'm gonna wear these shoes. Um, I don't necessarily wanna get them dirty, but they my only gray gym shoes. Oh, I have my new balances. I'm gonna wear my new balances, not those, because I don't wanna get those dirty at all. Um, yeah. Dang, it's hard to fit it behind my ear. Okay, this is what we gonna do. I gotta have it down so it don't get on the lashes, but I don't want it to look like a library teacher. Okay. Ping, it's hard to do it with this on my lashes. Damn. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. This is the look, just a quick little run look. And then when I get back, I'm gonna, y'all, these glasses might have to stay. Like, that hurts. But okay, I'm not gonna put on my new balances and then I'll talk to y'all once I actually get there. Hey homegirls, so I'm here at the car wash. It's pr we're pretty much wrapping it up right now. We're like cleaning up the supplies and stuff. Uh, it's music playing, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, so I finished getting dressed. I'm just wearing this top. Hold on y'all. This ain't that kind of channel. I'm wearing this top with these shorts. And these are my shoes. And this is my yellow purse. Maria, do you want to show the homegirls what you're wearing? Sure. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me tap you. Okay. Show them how long your hair is. Oh, that, I haven't really seen Show them how hair. long your hair is. Nobody doing it like that. Okay, cool. So, me and Maria are waiting on our food. We ordered us some DoorDash from yeah. this place called Hattie Bees that we heard a lot about from Maria's co-worker, well, old co-worker, and yeah. um, Gio and Deli told us that they tried this place before and it was what good. Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> basically, our DoorDash order is pulling up. We DoorDash our food and our drinky drinks. Yeah. Um, because we're, we're still gonna, we're this still supposed to be awesome. leaking up, yeah. Okay, homegirls, so we got our food. We are back in the room. And we're finna eat. It's from, it says hot Hattie B's chicken. 
This is how our food looks. Oh, it's pickles. Mm -hmm. And then we got some sauce that say Nashville comeback sauce. So that's what we finna eat. And yeah, let me see mine too. And I wanna take a picture of my food. Oh, goodness gracious. If it's gonna fall out, then go on and do it. Right. And then take a picture of my food. Our orders actually came quicker than we had thought it was. So yeah. that's good. Oh shit. <laughs> she like she the, that Yes, home. like, oh my God. That's so annoying. Sit up and act right. We got all night with you. You can't do all that tonight. I'm tired of that camera. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, we needed this, like. All day we was holding out on eating our dinner because it's, it's currently 10.38, y'all. Yeah. Who we been at 10.38? I w we would have ate at 7, yeah. 8 o'clock. But we was waiting on uh, Gio to update us because he's still with his family and things like that. So we're going to get up with them later. That's all I was trying to tell y'all earlier but when I was walking outside the door. But like... I don't mind y'all knowing that I got the out campus housing, but like the room number is yeah, crazy. Too far. I live here too. And not necessarily the homegirls, but you know, it'd be. No, just the weird people. Yeah, it'd be weird people in the world. That's all. But yeah. So, that's the plans for today to basically we finna eat, get ourself a little, you know, feel good. Then, we're going to go to a party. And then we'll probably, like, we'll link up with Gio and them later. Mm -hmm. But if not, then Memory is still going to go. We'll just link up with them tomorrow. So that's the plan. Okay. Let's see. We'll rate each part. Let's rate each part. Okay. No, well, I have the tender already. Peace. You ain't real. She not real. No, that is fair. Yeah. It was, it was the... What's the back one? Hold on. Mm. Let me try to hold meal first. Let me try to hold meal first. So I can really try to... Did it get on me? Oh, it's right here. Mm. That sauce, it's the sauce that fights back, huh? That's why they call it that comeback sauce. Mm -hmm. This is like spicy mayo a little. It do. Yeah, I, the tenders are good. The macaroni. I ain't try the tender. The, I would get a salsa like an eight. I would get a fries like an eight. The macaroni, I'd probably get like a six. Six and a half at the most. Six and a half. It's not bad at all. Like, it's a good taste to it, but it's just mm -hmm. not. It ain't like baked macaroni or nothing mm -hmm. like that. Or it's not chip, uh, chip like macaroni. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it ain't really nothing for real. No. <clears throat> It's cool though. Oh. That's good though. Ten is good. I'll stop the shit out of them. Right. Oh, it's hot though. What flavor you get? I got hot too. Really? Mm. Mm. Maybe our hot tolerance is a little different. Mm. It's not like I'm gonna fall out mm -hmm. hot, but I definitely didn't expect it to make my tongue feel a little weird. Mm. Then it's hot. Mmm. Yes, yeah, it's just weird at the bottom. I didn't know. I seen a post that said like, if you, if you eat the bread, 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 yeah, they said that's greedy. If you eat the bread at the bottom, they said it's just to catch the grease. You want to know something, Devin? I'll order an extra piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> they was talking about. They was talking about you. <laughs> no, I'm not mad at that. Cause I don't give a fuck. So you think they gonna say that my back getting big if I eat this? Cause I'm gonna eat this with this. Like this is how I eat my food. They said if you get a shake with your brother, you being greedy. You can't do nothing no more. Dang. I'm done with them. I don't know. What's supposed to? Well, mm. I would get like a shake, but then I would get a cup of water to. Mm -hmm. Cause the shake gonna dry your mouth out for sure. Mmm. 
This bread is good. Mm hmm. Maria eats like slices of bread by itself. So I know you like the bread. You tell it my um, <laughs> That ain't right. I'm sorry. What are these little things in it? Mm -hmm. Y'all can't see. It's like a little red pepper or something in it. That's why it's a six. They do it too damn much. There don't need to be no pepper in this macaroni. Mm. Okay. But we finna finish eating this and get like get some on our stomach so mm -hmm. that we not falling out and standing on our head like some walking. Even though that would be. But we might still do. No, that's not. But, that's not Talk to y'all in a minute. Not bad, but it's like it get a little mm -hmm. like. We good. We good. Me and Maria are leaving out now. Um, I'm gonna vlog the rest of the night on my phone because I don't, I don't know if they're gonna let me take my camera in, and I don't play by my camera. So it's the next day. We're still alive. We're well. Um, I actually didn't check in yesterday because once we got in, it was like, y'all know I never check in after a night out. If I check in after a night out, then the night out just wasn't lit enough, okay? So we went. We had fun. It was a good night. We got in safely. Everything was good. Um, and then I've just been chilling all day, so I didn't check in because I was just chilling, not really doing anything. It's a Sunday. Everybody knows Sundays. I really like self-care days. So that's what I was doing. I just got out the shower, and right now I'm making a list of the stuff that I need to get done per week. So this is a college tip for y'all. Y'all probably already know this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. On Sundays, you really should use that day to kind of like reset and give time for yourself, but you should also use that day to prepare for the week. So what I mean by that is, I'll go on my um, reminders app on my iPad. Sometimes I'll use like a planner app or something like that. Or if you're into digital planners, do that. Or the, not digital, but the actual paper planner that's good too boo so go ahead and get that and then every sunday look on your canvas or whatever your school may use we use canvas and i get on here is it canvas yeah okay i'm making sure it's not canva because that's the that's another app but anyway i get on here and i look at everything that's due for the week and i make sure i write it down sometimes i'll write down st anything that's on here so even if it's due in like a little more than a week but for starters, I really just try to focus on everything that's due that week so that I can prepare myself and give myself ample enough time to get it done. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I have to call my um, dentist on Tuesday. They're closed on Monday, so I just wrote that down. I work on um, two days this week, so I went ahead and wrote that down. And then I have a meeting for my work um, since I am still in training. I have that on Wednesday, so I went and wrote that down. So right now, I'm looking on my, this is what I do. I look on my my computer. I just prefer to look on my computer than on my phone because my computer shows me a larger timeline of assignments as due. And then I go ahead and I write it down here on my iPad, the Reminders app. Hopefully the camera don't fall. Y'all know how she do. She look good. Okay. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So this week, classes, that's my Spanish teacher going ahead letting us know that, um... This week's class is going to be asynchronous. That's good. That means I only got one class tomorrow. So okay, exit that off. You can you can see like the announcements on here that your teachers made, but you also can see the assignments that's due. So I go ahead and just catch up on that because I don't really be reading them unless I'm actually like sitting down at the computer. So it says a quiz that is locked until the 21st at 12 a.m. So that's probably tonight in about 20 minutes but I'm not doing it tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and put that tomorrow yeah, it's due tomorrow at 11 59 and it opens today at 12 so well tomorrow at 12 I'm gonna go ahead and put that down so what I'll do is I'll write the course name this is African Centered Psychology and then I'll put like a little dash mark and then I'll write the assignments that's due so syllabus revised quiz 
I love those syllabus quiz that you begin at the, end of the beginning of the semester because they go ahead and give you a quick little hundred, quick little easy grade. So I write that, and I usually either write when it's due or write when I'm gonna do it because I like to do stuff earlier than it's due. So if this is due tomorrow at 11:59, I'm gonna go ahead and set it for tomorrow at seven, like try to have it done tomorrow at like 7 p.m. Just in case when the reminder pop up, I can be like, oh, okay, that's doing a couple hours. I have time to do it. Versus if I set it for tomorrow at 11.59, I'm not going to have no time to do it by the time the reminder pops up. So, okay, cool. Wrote that down. And then I have another assignment that's due by him on Tuesday. But since I'm doing his assignment tomorrow, I'm going to just get both of his assignments out the way. So, tomorrow will be dedicated to African-centered psychology. Cool with me. And what's the name of this? I write the exact name of the assignment in here. Just so it ain't no confusing when I'm doing it. Something like that. Kinetic origins of psychology. Okay, cool. So that's what I gotta get done tomorrow. Hopefully it's nothing else that's due because don't push it now. I'm trying to be productive tomorrow, but it ain't going to give that productive. So I'll set that one for get it done tomorrow at like 7.30. Boom. That's done. And then this assignment due Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Am I going to do it Tuesday? I could do it either tomorrow. No, but she got two assignments due that day. So that's what I do. If, if, a, t if a professor has like more than one assignment that's due like back to back or the same day, I'll just dedicate that day to that professor or the day before or something like that. Just to make sure I'm staying on top of stuff and getting stuff done. Because y'all, I I need to stay on top of my grades. I've been doing so good at keeping my 4.0. And that was for four semesters in a row, y'all. I'm a junior and I had a 4.0 this whole time. So props to me, pat myself on the back, baby, because it wasn't easy. So I'm really trying to stick to it. I'm not giving myself, like, I'm not being so hard on myself, like, girl, you got to get an A, you got to get an A, because it is college, and these courses really are rigorous for real. So I'm really trying to, you know, give myself some leeway, but I am also knowing my potential and holding myself accountable, if that makes sense. So that's really what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit here, make sure I'm writing everything down that's due so that when the week gets started, I won't have no assignments sneaking up on me. I don't want it sneaking up on me, okay? Also, I had the chance to read two more chapters of this book. Because, um, like I said, today was for self-care. This book is good, y'all. It is good. I've seen it on TikTok. It lives up to the hype so far. I'm not that deep into it. I'm only on chapter three, so I'm like 60 pages in. So far, so good. So, that's good for that. Um, and, yeah. So I'm going to check in with y'all in the morning while while I'm getting ready for class. Good morning, homegirls. I'm all dressed for class. I, don't, I just got on something simple today because I only have one class. I'm going to go to campus and back. So let me show y'all what I have on. I have on this little dress. Let me get it clear up. With my tote bag, I just put um, I'm gonna put my camera in here. And then I went ahead and put like my notebook that I'm going to use for this one class in there. And then I have on these sandals. But I'm about to head downstairs so that I can be on my way to campus. And so that I can be on time for my class and not talk to y'all like after class or something. But today is going to be a pretty simple day. I'm just going to work out a little later on and get some homework done. So I'll talk to y'all then. Hey y'all, so I'm back from class. Class wasn't really good. I had criminology today. It was nice and easy. We had like a writing prompt as soon as we walked in. And then she told us to like just write as much as we can to answer a question. I believe the question was, uh, what is justice to us? It talked about how Stacey Abrams, which is like a former candidate for the uh, Georgia governor, she uh, uh, had a quote that said like, justice is not selective. That's not the exact way she said it, but basically saying like justice is not selective. And then the question asks us, like, what do we think justice is? So I talked a little bit about what I think justice is not. And then came up with my own definition of it. But right now, I just have on gym attire. We're about to go head down to the gym and work out for a little bit. Um, but I want to check in with y'all before I went. Because I know I haven't said anything since before class. And then I came back and got some of my work done that was due. I had one assignment due today and then, like, a couple that's due tomorrow. So I did the ones from tomorrow today. And I'll do the ones from Wednesday tomorrow which is Tuesday today is Monday 
but it's basically all I wanted. I'm waiting on Maria to come out the room. Y'all know we roommates now, so I'm sitting in the living room waiting on her to come out the room. And then we're gonna head down to the gym. I'll talk to y'all uh, probably after I work out when I'm getting ready to prepare dinner. Hey homegirls, I haven't checked in since pre-workout right now. I'm making me a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner. And I'm eating some yogurt because I was going to pass out. Me and Maria had a good workout day. Um, right now we're just in our cardio era trying to get back right with the working out chow. But I was going to make me some tuna tonight. I boiled my eggs and everything. But I realized I don't have a can opener. Like it'd be the small stuff that you need when you <laughs> read this ladder. But it'd be the small stuff you need that you forget that you need because it's like you never needed it for real. It's like not not necessarily something you took for granted, but like no, you, you didn't notice that like a can opener or something people like buy. <laughs> like yeah, so I couldn't make my tuna. I was gonna kind of eat it for a couple days. I was gonna make enough so that I wouldn't have to worry about cooking. Oh, let me hurry up, child. Forgot I'm cooking. All right, now hold on, little girl. Oh, this side. It's good. It's good. <laughs> but uh, I was gonna make me some tuna. It was gonna be good, like. But it's fine. I just make it tomorrow or something. Is she recording me? <laughs> now I'm recording you, dear. <laughs> Me and Maria are watching Princess and the Frog. Like, yes. we just was randomly watching Disney and she was like, Princess and the Frog gonna come on. We was like, oh my God. Then they had that little thing where like Mickey Mouse was whistling at the beginning. Nostalgia. But anyway, that's all I'm gonna do for tonight. Just gonna, hold on. You smell it? I don't know what's going on right now. What do you like, smoking? Yeah, you know how some Yeah, it's smelling like it's in a I want that smoke alarm going off now. Nah. Not over no fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> That's sick as hell. And I've been making them for a while. Oh, fun fact. When when I was little, we would eat them all the time. My daddy would always make them for us, me and my siblings or whatever. If y'all don't know, I got two sisters, two brothers. I think I mentioned that before. But anyway, my dad would make them all the time. He started calling them Tamiya sandwiches, child. That's what we used to call them. He said, I want a Tamiya, I want a Tamiya. I swear to God. We used to eat that all the time. But I've been on them bad, like, since I got older. It never faded, really. Dang. Okay, that's sad. Perfect. Look at that sad. That's gonna be good. So that's probably what I eat with some chips. I didn't plan on eating that, but it'll do, I guess. I'll talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm back from work. I'm checking in with y'all because I'm about to go work out. Work was good, it was nice and easy. Y'all, my wig been sliding back all day, so I was wearing a hat. Now I'm gonna wear this do rag to go to the gym. And when I get back from the gym, I'm gonna do my hair and eat. But this is what I'm wearing. I ordered a bunch of workout clothes so that, don't look at my dirty clothes over there. Y'all gonna make me hurt, y'all. Why y'all looking at them dirty clothes? But um, yeah, I ordered a bunch of workout clothes because it motivates me more to work out. So day two, here I go. Um, I'm not gonna really start posting about it on like social media until like day seven. But I'm I'm in this. Like I'm locked in until homecoming, my birthday, all that. Like I got stuff coming up. I'm trying to be the most snatched I've ever been in my life. So checking in with y'all. Work was good. It was easy. It took so long to get home because it was so much traffic, which is annoying. I had uh, called my ride to the school because I was gonna go get my package that got checked in while I was at work. But long story short, I missed it because it was so much traffic. It's um, it's all good though. So right now I'm about to go work out. I'm gonna talk to y'all after the workout when I'm like getting a couple assignments done and eating. So I'll talk to y'all then. This workout is only gonna be about 30, 40 minutes. So.
talk to y'all after. Just finished making me some tuna. It was real good. Well, I didn't eat it yet, but well, I didn't eat my sandwich yet. I made a tuna sandwich, but I ate the tuna when I was making it, like eating it out the bowl. And baby, I put my foot in it. So right now I'm gonna eat that sandwich and then these chips. Um and me and my boyfriend is gonna watch the season, no, the series finale of Snowfall. We've been waiting all day to watch it together. You wanna say hey to the homegirl? He said hey y'all. But yeah, so I'm about to sit here and watch Snowfall and then just I have a little bit of something something I need to get done for school. I'm gonna get that done today, of course, and then after that I'm pretty much done for today. So talk to y'all in the morning. I'll probably be ending the vlog tomorrow just because I want time to edit this before Sunday because y'all been on me about getting this video up. So I'm gonna make sure that I have it up for y'all. And y'all look, I done took my wig off. <laughs> I just took my wig off. I'm going to put my wig back on in the morning as well. So I'll talk to y'all in the morning when I look better and when I'm up. Hey homegirls, it's the next day. It is 3 o'clock, 3 one to be exact. Um, I have class in about 40 minutes, but I'm going to get on the, wait, not 40 minutes. I have class in like an hour, but I'm getting on the shuttle in a few so I can get to campus early and I need to pick up my package. My package, I've probably been talking about the whole damn vlog. <laughs> Like, I've probably been talking about that. Because they're making it so much. They're making it so much more difficult. Like, it's crazy. But it's mainly because my package, like, didn't come to, like, the middle of the day. And y'all don't know, but, like, with the mail room, the mail room closed at 5.30. So if your package is not checked in, like, they'll, your package can be there. But, like, if they don't send you an email saying come get your package, you can't come to get your package, basically. So I was waiting for the email, they never sent it. Then the next day I tried to go, which was yesterday, and get it um, when I got back from work. But I didn't get to the mirror room to like five, well, to campus to like 5.35, and they closed at 5.30, so I didn't even go up there. But today is the day that I get my Roku, and I can finally watch TV in my room. Like, I've been watching TV on my iPad, which is cool, and then we have a TV in the living room, which is fine, but you wanna watch TV in your room, especially because I had to get caught up with my shows. Y'all know I love the reality shows. I love uh, Real Housewives and Love and Hip Hop and all that shit, you know. But um, I'm about to get ready to leave out. The class I have today is History and Systems of Psychology. Um, the class I didn't tell y'all about is African Psychology because it's an asynchronous class, meaning it's no Zoom, it's not in person, and nothing like that. I just finished doing an assignment or two for that class and a couple assignments for my Spanish class. Um, but the African Center Psychology class is really interesting. That's why I'm really trying to see what this one is about. This one is History and Systems of Psychology because I'm like, I like that class so far. And I typically like stuff that's um, psychology based, which is why I end up making it my minor because I just love psychology classes. It just be interesting. I feel like I've been learning stuff about myself and just stuff, stuff I probably need to know and that I probably wouldn't get if I wasn't. Um, getting a formal education doing it. I'm sure it's stuff you can read about, but like they expose you to certain materials that I wouldn't have came across in my day to day, if that makes sense. But I'll show y'all what I have on for today. I really put the wig on. I know last time I saw y'all, I told y'all I took the wig off. I put the wig back on. And then this is the shirt of today. Um, I love this necklace. I just got this necklace actually. My mom bought me these earrings and then I saw the necklace to go with it. Well, she pointed it out to me and I was like, that's like a perfect match. But anyway, this, these shorts. I'm wearing these shoes because these are like my most comfy shoes. I was going my black platform ones, but maybe tomorrow, not today. I just have one class, so I'm just trying to be quick in and out. Of course, the camera not going to set back up, like really. But yeah. Outfit. And um, me and Ray are gonna work out afterwards. That's why I figured I might as well throw on something that I could wear to class and the gym. Cause I get out of class around six, I think. So I felt like I might not want to come in and change. Plus it's less clothes to get dirty, less clothes to wash. You know how that go. Um, but yeah, get up on my iPad in here. I'm probably gonna eat something really quick. I don't know why I feel like I'm hungry again. Wait, I know why. Yeah, I ate before Maria got back, which is true. Y'all, why did I almost burn the apartment down? 
Well, if you let this uh, fire alarm speak, they'll say that. It's so dramatic. Like, my, my breakfast wasn't even a full breakfast. I was making me a sandwich, and I was like, oh, I'm going to put some bacon on the side. You know, a little something. I, I turned away for one second to, I'm trying to make my sandwich on the counter while the bacon is cooking over there on the stove. That should be fine. You would think like you don't have to flip it again until you're done with your sandwich. Like, do y'all know how quick it is to make a sandwich? But no, I turned around, the bacon was black and it was starting to smoke. <laughs> it was starting to smoke in here. So I was like, what the hell? So I flipped the switch right there. You know, that's like the ventilator or whatever for the kitchen. I'm like, cool. And then I turned on that ceiling fan right there to kind of, you know, get this circulation going in here so the fire alarm didn't go off. And it still went off. Like, really? And so I'm in here. I'm like, Maria, like, Maria. Whole time thinking, like, she went back to sleep. Then a couple minutes later, she walked through the door. <laughs> I was like, where were you? She had class. I didn't know she had class. I thought she said that you didn't have class. But I thought she said you had it, but it was online. That's what I thought she said. But I must have got confused. But that shit is so funny. Because I was like, what the hell? Uh, my roommate Adora ended up coming out. And she, we was fanning the smoke detector. And it went down. And I had to open the door, the patio door. Or balcony door. I don't know what it's called. But yeah. Anyways. I'm about to eat something really quickly. I made some tuna last night. I told y'all it was good. So I probably just like eat a little with some crackers and then for dinner I'll probably eat it again because I'm trying to finish it. Um, I think it only lasts a couple days in the refrigerator. Like you can't keep it that long. So yeah, talk to y'all after class. Today's gonna be the last day of this vlog, y'all, because this vlog has to get edited. Like I said yesterday, I think. So I'm talking to y'all now. I'm gonna talk to y'all after class. Go to the gym, all that good stuff, and then I'll be ending it tonight. Y'all haven't seen Back Theo and Deli in a new motherfucking semester. And I'm ending the vlog today, so I want y'all to be in it because they didn't even see y'all. Y'all didn't see us. You they still here. They're alive. Oh, they're well. I'm not supposed to curse. I'm sorry. He's not supposed to be cursing at y'all. <laughs> I'm finna get ready to go work out, y'all. Well, I'm already ready, but I'm finna finish this granola bar. Yes. And then Gio and Deli, these are my bad kids. Not too bad, son. Chill, daddy. Chill. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Can we close it out with that? With the CAU? This ain't... I'm not closing it right now. I'm closing it later. She gonna close it out with her body. Like, okay. Shut up! Yeah, ew! You think this gonna fall? No. The legs look good today. She been in the gym too, girl. Okay. So we, we offer them so much wisdom for free. Yes. Y'all, I'm coming on here because Maria's sitting here telling me like, Maria, you hold the camera and I'll tip to the pop, camera. Pop okay. She washing the dishes. I'm working on the sandwich. Y'all know I burnt that bacon earlier. I need to dedicate my full attention. She basically told me to come here and tell y'all. So, I had seen this TikTok and they were saying like, when you do nice stuff for yourself and take good care of yourself, how you tell other people thank you all the time, tell yourself thank you too. So like for example, like we went to the gym today. 
and I had really thought about it. And I was just like, oh, like, thank you for taking me to That's so sweet, like, to tell yourself, like, basically when you do good for you, you tell yourself, like, thank you so much for, yeah, thank for you for that. working like, out today. Thank, thank you, you for, for me. Mm -hmm. you know? like, you know, oh, that's so sweet. And it just makes you feel so much better. Mm -hmm. like, for real. So, that's something I'm going to start doing. When she told me that, I was like, yeah, I need to start doing that. Like, thank, thank you for getting up early, even though you hate it. Like, thank you for that. For real. Absolutely. Ooh, it's something in my eyes. But, um, yeah. I'm going to be ending the vlog right here, y'all. Um, my day went pretty good. My class was good. It's, I like how she took the histories and systems and psychology and really gave it that look. HBCU twist. Like, she was like... When I say the history, I mean the history, history, like DC years, like back in Africa before right. it was a Western society to uh, kind of change it and modernize it. So it's really good and it just makes me, like it's one of those things where it's like you realize like, that you're out of HBCU, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like when they yeah. kind of take the lesson and just make sure it's like Gear focused. Towards, yeah. yeah, get it towards the lens you might have not looked at it at before. <laughs> Or like you haven't been exposed to yet, so I really liked it. The class was a little too long for me. For me too, like I was not gonna tell you to get out of the I was like, yeah. yeah, it was a little long. Okay, let me flip that. Let me put that down. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my sandwich right. Okay, okay that's cool. like the perfect amount of. Checking mm -hmm. out, making my tuna milk. But um. Yeah, it was one of those things that made me be like, yeah, I'm happy, you know, that I'm in an HBCU because I know that's something that another teacher might not have, mm -hmm. like a non-black teacher might not have put the effort into exposing us to. Go on, calling me. Yeah, hold on, I'm talking to the homegirls. But yeah, it was one of those things that made me be like, you know, like, you know, proud to be at HBCU or just thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I'm about to eat dinner and I'm going to do my notes for human sexuality. I got the class tomorrow at 925, child. So I need to go ahead and do my notes. I did the notes when I was in class, but I wrote them on my iPad. And yeah, I need to transfer it to paper because I just, I just like to write stuff down. I don't really like to write on my iPad unless it's like just for fun type stuff. So I'm gonna transfer the notes there so that tomorrow when I'm in class and we learning new stuff, mm -hmm. check on this sandwich again. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. But tomorrow when we in class and we on the next chapter, I don't wanna have to skip pages or something. I just wanna go back and like, I mean, just continue to add on. So that's what I'm gonna do for the night. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. I feel like I've been vlogging for forever. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, DM me if you like need anything, want to want advice on something, or if you're at Clark and you too shy to talk to me, maybe in person. Cause me and Maria be seeing the homegirls all the time. Oh, we we see the homegirls all the time, they're so sweet. and they're so y'all y'all be so sweet. Yeah. But um, yeah. So that's really all for tonight. That's all for the video. It's gonna be another one. I'll be probably starting another vlog on Monday. So stay tuned for episode two of season three. This is season. Three. Crazy. I can't take it. Okay, I'll talk to y'all probably next week. <laughs>